Hello there and welcome back. We're already at race five in the season and we're going to Miami. Before then though, let's have a quick recap on how we're doing R and D performance wise. A couple of upgrades here to uh, get ourselves going out for quite a few resource points there. So we can get some chassis upgrades there to see what we're really lacking in the chassis. Better than Williams, just behind the hats. Not a great place to be in the car all the early days. We're going to take a new ICE for this Miami race. Just getting on the wrong side of the durability there. So we don't want to lack pace. And in the driver standings, Jensen Button 10 points, and myself on four. Six in the constructors. Not doing too bad. Jensen has impressed so far. Okay, at Imola last time. It's a good place to be in. Let's head to Bali though. As we see this newly built track. Oh, it's a street circuit in Miami with the infamous fake marina around the circuits. We get ready and let's have a look where we qualify. Jensen Button in Q1 came 11th for a 130.3, but it is bad news for us as we were slow. 21, not a great place to start. We're here in the coastal shores of Florida for the Miami Grand Prix, which has become the 11th Formula One track held in the United States. The grandstands are packed for what we hope is going to be another fantastic race. Sitting at the southeastern coast of Florida, the Miami International Autodrome has 19 corners and 3.36 miles of racing. It's a circuit designed to encourage close racing while meeting the highest safety standards. Either way, I'm sure it's one that will please the fans. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. A fantastic effort from Charles Leclerc yesterday, and it's put him on pole. Edging out Lando Norris, he'll start from P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Sainz, Verstappen, George Russell, and Hamilton. Fernando Alonso, Ricardo, Ocon, and Jensen Button. Bottas. Mick Schumacher, Kevin Magnussen, and Joe. Vettel, Albon, Lance Stroll, and Oscar Piastri. Gasly, Jackson, Latifi, and Yuki Tsunoda. So here we go then, it's 14 laps of Miami. We're gonna start on them soft tires and then go on to the mediums to the end of the race. Looks like a long stint on the medium tire there, so we be interested to see how they hold up. As we complete the formation lap with a couple of burnouts, getting tyres up to temperature. Not to start there. But it all counts here as we get five lights on the grid and away we go. Charles Leclerc leading the race. Lando Norris in second with the McLaren. We jump a place there. Yuki Snow looks like he was bogged down. We had a great start there. We've actually gained a couple of places there. Going up the inside, you can see we rolled the kerb a little bit. Get in front of Vettel, Gasly, Piastri. Not a bad start there to gain some places. Lance Stroll up next in the Aston Martin. But look at them cars coming thick and fast already. As Sebastian Vettel takes his place back. Pierre Gasly takes his place back. We get squeezed off the track there. Looks like it actually comes to our advantage. And we, we're going to try on Lance Stroll up the inside. And we get it done. And on Alexander Albon. Although he looks like he had a good exit there. Yeah, Albon takes that place back. We get in front of both of them Aston Martins. Our teammate Jensen Button up into ninth. He's had a good start there as well. Charles Leclerc still leading the race. And Sebastian Vettel makes a great move there. And, and Al uh, Albon, yeah, that's Albon. Makes a great move there. He gets past him. Just comes to this tricky section here. And we're just trying to sneak in front of... Oh, I mean, Vettel takes the cone out there. Did we leave him enough room? Who knows? That's a different matter, but Vettel takes the cone out down this long straight here. In a couple of laps time, DRS will open up here, and it is powerful down this back straight as we're already having to use our ERS to squeezing Sebastian Vettel to so the left-hand side of the track. He'll have to take a really narrow corner here. So we're prepping well there. We're leaving the room, though, and we're leaving probably too much room. He takes advantage. And that is the end of lap one. We have gained some places. 
not where we want to be. Alexander Albon's going to try it here. There's a little gap there. If we keep this in bounds, what a move that is. We get past Vettel, get past Albon. A fantastic move. Jump back here onto lap three. We have P15. Seb Vettel just less than a second away in Magnussen and Schumacher up next in the two Hasses. Their home race, this all. Oh, tickled. Got a lot of inside there. And actually go into the barrier. That's really going to hinder us. How on earth is no vehicle damage there? Amazing. Is that engine also really starting to feel it now? Maybe we should have gone for a full swap. We'll have to wait until next race for that. Sebastian Vettel tries it. We get a better exit from the corner, or do we? Side by side, going into this slow right-hander. We are in front. They're looking not to take any of that inside corner this time. Really poor mistake, that. Got very lucky. Not clipping and ruining the front wing. Sebastian Vettel will have DRS down this back straight. Already on their ERS system. Leading away that okay, battery. They'll go with all tie grip is not looking fantastic. And we'll have to do a long stint on the mediums. Catch too much of that inside apex there. Seems to be a theme this race. As Vettel tries it, is that a switch? What a switch back that is. Great manoeuvre. Vettel went deep into the corner. And in doing so, we uh, just took advantage of him locking his brakes up a little bit there and swept on past him. Get that kind of horrific club wrong. I think we're just actually more focused on defending from Seb Vettel. Oh, and Seb's trying to squeeze his way on the inside, the outside, sorry. It's got past us. What can we do about it? We'll throw a late one down the inside. We have thrown one. Oh, we've gone wide there. But we keep Sebastian away from us and we go into the pits here. Optimal time, so hopefully on the lower end of that two seconds. 2.4. Let's see what happens here as a result of that pit stop. So we go, Jensen is in the pits now. So we go, our engineer telling us. Oh, Sebastian Vettel is out of the session. Sebastian Vettel is out of the session, so the person was battling with has had to retire as Alexander Albon tries to take us but we take that place back well, we'll try it down this straight into the first corner but we did see a couple of times the defending that we could do on Sebastian Vettel and this time we go round the outside to keep our place and a couple of them pit stops teams who've gone into the pit stop have just come up behind us so we're up to P 15, still P15. It's going a little bit deep into that car. It looks a little bit slow, that. That's Stroll 4.3 and Albon 5. That is due to them okay, two battling. Lap, lap very race. hard against each other. So now tyre temperatures in an okay position. Tyre wear on lap 14, though, is very well used. Snow got involved in that fight with Albon, but we come over the line in P15. Another great That's result a today. Fantastic performance from Ferrari. It hardly looked in doubt. Anthony Davidson, how do you think they were able to set themselves apart? An excellent performance in today's Grand Prix, and they're certainly a team that know what they're doing out there. The updated driver standings. Despite the best efforts of our championship leader, that lead has taken a bit of a knock today. So, Anthony Day.